why Jesus sent his disciples out too by to the right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get him to I so the classes. Never go out. Never have a female ministry one on one with a man. Mm-hmm. I don't care what it looks like and how you think you can handle it. Don't do it by yourself. Mm-hmm. Not by yourself. Take someone with you. You never know. Um, we're we want everybody saved. When someone says, I need help, and I think one of the case studies was a young lady said she met the gentleman, said he needed help, and he wanted prayer, and he was a distinguished gentleman, and he said, I know about God. He said, can you come and teach me a little bit more one-on-one? She's so happy, want to spread the gospel, she's going to run to his house. Mm-hmm. Big number one. And when she got there, he had a stack of money this high, and he had a pentagon mm-hmm. on the floor with the candles. Mm-hmm. And he kept saying, come, come and get in the surf, come and do the, and she kept backing up. And she realized he had no intentions. He told her, he had a white robe on. He said, you're going to be my wife. One of my wives, you're going to be number one. And she realized that she was trapped into something by herself. Mm-hmm. But she did call him God. God helps us when we're in our mm-hmm. infant state. Mm-hmm. And God came in and when she tried to leave, he had locked the door. Mm-hmm. She couldn't get out, but she kept on calling on the name of Jesus. And she said she had to do that for about 10 minutes. Then he finally, the power of the Lord, caused him to unlock the door. It was a setup. So that's why I said you never know. Mm-hmm. Everybody who comes in and says they know the word of God, mm-hmm. they may know the word, but they have another purpose. Yeah. So that's why I said it's important. Don't go another agenda. It's important. Don't go by yourself mm-hmm. or get someone to go with you and when you're praying. And I tell people, if people say there's a demonic manifestation, get the person to come to church somewhere. Mm-hmm. Don't go to that territory mm-hmm. because even family members carry the same spirit. Mm-hmm. And the demon is really strong when the family members can link up, them spirits link up together. Mm-hmm. So just be careful, be wise, because God tells them he gave us common sense. Because people, everybody out there is not calling on the name of the Lord. Somehow, a heavy worshiper, and the thing is, if the church was getting into God like Satan, or like the uh, disciples of Satan, they pray day and night. Yes, they, they pray against us. Yes, While we're sleeping, they are praying. Yes, they they laboring in prayer. We want to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And they're laboring in prayer for the purpose of what they're trying to accomplish. Mm-hmm. And one thing we was talking about on last week, when God has given you a uh, a uh, uh, ministry or something that he's directing you, don't talk about it right then and there. Because on assignment, the enemy starts right then and there to block you. So don't release it until God tells you to release it. Okay? You had something. You had <laughs> All right. We're going to get back into, we read most of this. I'm trying to get back into, because like I said, we were so on fire 